Hi, I'm Michelle Bege with a look at what's happening in Latin America now. But first, our news trivia. A sacred indigenous cloak makes its return 300 years later to a community in which country? We'll have the answer later. In Haiti, at least 26 people died and over 40 were injured in a tanker truck explosion. According to witnesses, the victims had been trying to collect fuel from the leaking tanker truck when it exploded. The accident occurred in a coastal town called Miragon in southwestern Haiti. The injured were treated at a local hospital, but at least six were taken by helicopter to a Port-au-Prince clinic. Officials are trying to tend to the wounded as best they can. Some of them have burns over 80 percent of their bodies. Now let's go to my colleague Dan Collins in Peru who has a special report. Raging forest fires in Peru have killed at least 15 people and injured as many as 100 as flames consumed thousands of hectares of land. Hundreds of domestic animals have been killed and an untold number of wild fauna. Clouds, smoke and wind have impeded aircraft operations available to fight fires. Authorities have been tackling the fires directly on the ground and dropping water from helicopters in inaccessible areas. Fires are partly caused by slash and burn methods used to clear land for farming purposes, which have been worsened by drought. Peru's Forestry and Wildlife Service indicates the effects of climate change intensify the conditions that facilitate the spread of fires. In El Salvador, officials commemorated the 203rd anniversary of the country's independence. During the government celebration ceremony, President Najib Bukele took a moment to assure citizens that the criminal gangs in the country have been dismantled for good. But he said the offensive against them will continue until they are fully eradicated. Let's remember that Bukele established a state of emergency in 2022 after the escalation of 87 homicides in one weekend. The crackdown has allegedly brought the capture of 82,000 gang members to date. Now let's see what stories we're following for next week. First, we're following Mexico's judicial reforms. As one of his last acts in office, before a change in presidency on October 1st, President Andrés Manuel López Obrador signed the decree for judicial reforms this week. He was seated next to President-elect Claudia Sheinbaum. The law aims to transform the judiciary from an appointment-based system to one where judges are elected by voters. Second, we're following Peru's fight against the illegal harvesting of shark fins. Officials announced the seizure of shark fins weighing over one ton. They were on their way to being sent abroad to be sold on the black market. Shark fins are a delicacy in some countries. Mass killings of sharks for their fins has placed the predatory sea creature at grave risk. And now the answer to our news trivia. The answer is C. The Tupinamba people of Brazil have been waiting for their sacred cloak for 335 years. In a ceremony with Brazilian President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva in attendance, the cloak was returned after being part of a collection at the National Museum of Denmark for centuries. The museum in Copenhagen is one of the oldest in Europe. Members of the indigenous community say the 1 meter and 80 centimeter cloak with feathers from the red guara bird is sacred. They believe with its return, it marks the start of a new history in indigenous rights. And that's it for this week. We'll see you again soon on Latin America Now.